Welcome back to Crate Myrtle Journals. I'm going to teach you how to make your own template so you can make a tiny file folder that are 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, whatever size you like to fit into your junk journals. This template was made from an old file folder so I'll show you how to do that. Just take an old file folder, decide what size you want your folder to be, and I just use the fold that already exists. So I just estimate how much, I'm gonna make it this size, about how wide I want it to be, how tall I want it to be. And then I try to look at a file folder itself to decide what kind of shape is that at the top of the file folder. And like this one, it has like a flattish, um, it doesn't have a dip in it, but I want mine to have a dip in it. So I'll look at old file folders to decide how much dip to give it. Oh wait, where's my stencil I'm working on? Here we go. So I will make this about this length, then make my little tab. Maybe I'll make this one in the middle. I usually use one uh, stencil to make the tabs that are in the middle or on either end. And then I'll cut it here. This will just be my stencil. This is not going to be the, the one I'm going to decorate. Okay, so that's approximately, you know, I might make it a smidge shorter to make it look more like the the um, dimensions of a file folder and maybe a smidge longer. Okay, so that's very much a rough draft. So I'm gonna cut that out and then tailor that and trim it until I like the shape it is. You can use a cutter if you want it to be perfectly straight, that's fine. But this is rustic embellishments, rustic ephemera, unique ephemera that no one else is going to have. I'm going to shorten one side like this. And then this one will have this shape of a file folder. Now looking at it like this, I want this side to be a little bit shorter. So when you make a template, you can cut at it and trim at it until you like your, your template. And if it doesn't look good, it's just an old file folder. You can just try it again and again. It's very satisfying to finally achieve something that you like. So a file folder often has curved corners and I even try to make that little dip sometimes so I go in slightly and just curve up no I actually want a bigger dip than that my dip isn't working very well under pressure so I think I'll just curve the corners and then do the same thing here Then I look at it and decide, do I like the way that looks? And this is my template. And then I can trace this. Oh, also on a, on a file folder, you'll see that there will be um, um, marks here for, um, for folding, what do you call that? Uh, where they have, we call it um, um, like embossing. Ah, the word is escaping me. But because I don't really have a scoreboard, scoring. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to make scores on here, but I'm just going to use my paper cutter. If you see, there's grooved lines on a paper cutter. So I use a bone folder or even a stylus to just make little score marks. And this is a little easier on paper than it is on um, manila file folder. But I'll just make some score lines like this using any dent that I have on any cutter because many cutters have these kinds of dents. So now I've kind of got those score marks like a real folder has. Okay, that is my template. And from that, you can make a bunch of, of folders um, over and over and over. Um, 
a vendor on Amazon contacted me and offered to send me some new paper if I would make a, do a review of the papers. So I got this paper from a vendor on Amazon. The name of the vendor is Bleds. And I chose Honey Flowers, or Honey Flower. And it is beautiful paper. The colors are beautiful. There's a good variety. It's six by six and there's 24 pieces. So I'm gonna make my file folders out of this pretty paper. I'm gonna make a set. Here I made a set out of um, scrapbook paper in the past and made tiny labels. So that's what I'm gonna do right now using this Bled's paper. So here are my templates. I made two folders already. Here, this one and this one using that paper. And this was another one I made using that paper from Bled's on Amazon. Very pretty. So um, the last one I'm gonna make is a set of, it's a set of three, I've already made two. So using my template, I just trace it onto the scrapbook paper, which I've already done that. And then cut it out. Oh, actually, you know, I wanted one in the middle. I think I will switch gears here and trace a middle tab, but I want it to match those tabs exactly. I often use the same template just like this to make each tab. I just line it up to where I want it to be Okay, there we go. I want this one to be in the middle in order my, for my set to have a right, left, and middle um, tab. Just carefully cut it out. The miniatures in your junk journals will really give you that wow factor. The most exclamations I get when I make, when I show people a junk journal is when they see little miniatures, little tiny file folders or little tiny coffee cups. Of course, when you find miniature paper clips and things like that, that also um, gives you that reaction. I'm gonna erase that. Actually, I don't see my eraser right now. Okay, I'm gonna fold this to about to where I want it to be. A bit lower. Even a little bit lower. Then I'll put some creases here. And using my cutter again, I'm going to make some score marks. And my, if you don't have a bone folder, you can just use the edge of something like this that has a groove on it to make a crease mark. Now, some people have told me, well, I have a little envelope punch, and I have a folder punch. And that's great, but some people don't have a tool for everything like that, or they don't want to fill up their craft space with so many tools. So this is a way to um, enjoy making something tiny, and even if you don't have the tools. So I've made those score marks like a front of a folder would have, and yet I did it on the wrong side. But you know what? You just switch gears and you do it again. No problemo. misfire. Okay, now I've got those nice little score marks like you would have on a folder. And then I thought I'd zhuzh these up. So now I've made a complete folder set like you might buy, um, like that. And then I have labeled this one already. This one I did choose a little decor to put on here. I thought I'd put that bumblebee on there. And I have this, I think this was, was off the edge of something that's not crafty. I mean, it might have been like, um, some packaging, but it looks like it's a tiny ruler and they're supposed to be, I think, one inch increments. So I'm gonna cut off just at the one and glue that there as a little label. Actually, you know, I think I'll put that on the yellow one and I think I'll use a little edge of the yellow paper to make a tiny label for my gray folder. So I'm just gonna try to make it about the same size as the other ones. And let's see how I did that one. I tried to round the edges on the tiny label the way you might see it on a real label. Um, this label is not perfect, perfectly straight. And I just want to encourage you, if you are trying to make miniatures on your own or you're trying to craft, 
just embrace the idea that it won't be perfect. And that's part of the charm of junk journals. I mean, some people do have tools that make everything very precise, but, and that is kind of fun to try to make something perfect. But for me, I really enjoy just the charm of making things uh, homemade and it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stick that little yellow one on the gray. And then I'll put this grayer one. Wow, I put a big dab of glue on there that it didn't need. File folders make great um, placemats while you're working too, so you don't make such a big mess on your desk. Okay, I think I'll use this little gray one on the yellow one. I am gonna erase that pencil line at some point, but not yet. And then I'm gonna zhuzh these up just a little bit Although I think they're very cute. Oh, that, is, that kind of covers up the pencil mark. Because the, the scrapbook paper from the set is called Honey Flower, so it has a lot of bees in the pictures. I'll show you real quick. Like bees, bee backgrounds, honeycomb, also wildflowers and bees. So I found a little bee amongst my little pieces of papers and I thought that would be pretty on the gray folder or the yellow folder. I think I'll put it on the gray folder. And now I have made a complete set. Maybe I'll put that one. The Flowers here are so gorgeous, but I want the bee to show up. Maybe it's like it's a, a set of bee-themed folders. So here are tiny file folders. Let me grab a journal. I'm working on a new journal. This one's, an, this one's not the new one. And um, the front has a bird on it, and my husband suggested, why don't I call it Flight and Flowers? So here's a pocket, and you might just stick I lost one of my file folder sets. Here we go. You have a set of little file folders and wouldn't that be so sweet for someone to find in a pocket when they discover, look, a tiny set of file folders. So fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and this review of some scrap paper from Bleds on Amazon. Um, it was very kind of them to send me paper and I'll have to tell you, it's very good quality. It's good. It's thicker than copy paper. But it's not cardstock, but it is heavyweight paper. And everything about it I liked. The shipping was quick. The only drawback, in my personal opinion, is I would never personally buy this because of the cost. So it was about eight fifty or almost eight dollars. And I just hunt for sales. So I think I'd only buy this paper if it were a sale. But other than that, other than the cost, the paper itself is extremely good quality and has beautiful prints that are very clear. So Thanks for watching my tutorial. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you one more thing. This is the uh, Flight in Flowers journal I'm working on with some old uh, material. I used my little bird's, uh, bird stamp to stamp some footies there, my homemade stamp. And I think I will label or make this Flight and Flowers will be the theme of this journal. It's just an old book cover, but I'm already loving it and I've just barely begun. Hope you enjoyed that tiny tutorial and that you'll make your own little file folders.